Hi, Captain Harry Vernon III here at Captain Harry's. This is a simple Wahoo high speed trolling deal that I got going here. It's a simple deal. Doesn't take a rocket scientist here to do this. So I'm going to just give you a quick rundown on how to have a good spread while you're fishing. It's very important. So coming off of here, this is on a, a gunnel rod. The uh, forward one, it's going to be a five rod spread here. You don't have to have them, but this is just one simple way. We're going to come off of here off of an 80 uh, with 100 pound mono, and it's going to go all the way back. This will be my long. It's going to be a 32 ounce lead. Now, my 32 ounce lead, which is going to be this guy, like so. All right, you're going to have your snap swivel is going to snap onto this. And at the end of this is going to be your shock leader. So you're going to have a 32 ounce lead on your long with your cable protecting this because these will get hit by Wahoo with the ball bearing swivel at the end, which connects to the shock leader. This is going to be your shock leader, which comes off your 32 ounce lead, which is going to go back approximately our shock leaders are approximately 30 to 50 feet long. The very beginning is going to be a loop which connects to the cigar and then off again a ball bearing snap swivel which is going to connect to your lure now your lure which is, uh, we'll go over with lures on the next on the next deal we'll go over the lures and talk about them on another program so it's going to be really cool uh, now off your lures coming off of back here we use approximately four to six foot cable uh, leader to the lure so this is going to be my long baits and I'll do it on both sides, both sides, 32 ounce long leaders. Now my short, which are these two guys here, right off the transom, off the back of the boat, is approximately 150 feet behind the boat. Now what I do also is I'll mark and I'll floss my lines. You can use mono or braid, whatever your preference is. I like mono because I can take a black magic marker and just black it out. It wears, but I always have one. I just keep keep doing it. It's, it's no big deal, but uh, it's it's pretty simple deal. Now off of here, off of my shorts, off the gunnel, I'm using a 48 ounce lead, which is much much bigger. And this is why you need your 80s when you're using big tackles like like this and bigger lures, because on my shorts, I use bigger lures on the uh, on on the back of those. So. You're going to need a big drag washer, big everything to, to handle this much pressure being dragged through the water when you're going 18, 18 plus knots. So now off of there, I got my lead, same setup. I got my same leader, 50 foot shock leader, snap swivel to the lure. It's a very simple deal. On both sides, I've got 48 ounces. And again, select whatever type of lure that you're going to do. Now off the cable, off the cigars, the cable off of these are 920 pound test cable that we use also. Now, shotgun, this guy right here off the center. This is only after you get everything out and you want to throw one more back, just throw it back. It could be back uh, 300 feet, 400 feet, whatever you want, but it's going to go straight down the middle. Some people will put them off the top of the T top, some guys will put them off the uh, fly bridge whatever and I'll use a 16 to a 24 ounce cigar which is much much smaller but again it's the same cigar same setup ball bearing with a loop with whatever particular lure that you're going to be using um, the reason why I like using going back to the 48 ounce close up like that is using the heavy lead it gets it down out of that prop wash so it's in and out of the prop wash but below it just a little bit which I think works a little bit better for me now, there's a thousand people out there. You're going to ask 10 captains what's the best way to fish for Wahoo and how to do it. Everyone's going to have their own opinion. This is just my opinion, my simple way of fishing. And I've caught quite a few Wahoo using this setup. It's a good system. It's pretty good. Um, it's a good spread. And you know, everybody, we've got to have a good spread out there. Um, after this, um, we're going to talk about lures. What lures to use? Which ones? What's going to be the best one for high speed or slow speed trolling? So stay tuned for that, because that's going to be what, you, what lure and why and where to put that particular lure. Thank you, tight lines, and good luck catching.